I almost didn't even recognize it because look at this. This is crazy. That's where my neighbor's house used to be at and that's not even there anymore. This is so insane to me. I had a neighbor who used to live right here who had horses and all of that is gone now. Like there was a freaking house here and I'm going to show you the only thing that I'd seen is this right here. This fence that used to fence in where the horses were at. You don't like the crackers? No. Those are club crackers, baby, with cheese. Them things, them things are a scud, baby. What's a scud? Scud is like a scud rocket ship. It just means they're really good. What's a scud rocket ship? See, there's a scud. A scud is, it's really good. But a scud rocket ship, though? Mm. That means it's really, really good. It's prison lingo, baby. but you wouldn't understand. <laughs> I'm legitimately thinking that it's a real rocket, that's a scud. Well, well, then what the hell would a scud be? I don't know. Scud missile, scud rocket ship. Scud grenade line. I mean, there's just so many different variations, most of them involving a weapon of mass. So that makes it good. Yeah, that makes it better. Like Zoom Zooms and Wham Whams. Yeah. Like Zoom Zooms and Wham Whams are just what they are. They're just commissary items. But a Scud. Hey, I thought a Zoom Zoom and a Wham Whams was like a ho ho. I mean, it could be anything. It could be a ramen noodle. It could be a bag of potato chips. It could be a, you know, a ho ho, a God, brownie. And we've got the crazy drivers beginning. Road rage. You know, I, I learned about road rage in the little driving class that I went to. Road rage. Havoc on the highway. We lost them. I really didn't pay too much attention in that class either. We're getting ready to go into what looks like a major accident. This is Joe Guerrero reporting with After Prison Show News. We are live on location for what appears to be a lot of flashing lights up ahead. I mean, I think I saved the day to be honest with you. You did, baby. You got all the way over here into the HOV lane. Let's go ahead and take a look now. We're arriving on location to see what all of the flashing lights and commotion is about. Oh, there goes the state boys. He's trying to get out there. Nothing but a bunch of ambulances, fire trucks, and a lot of police. We'll get back to you later. Oh, this guy, he's speeding. Jeez. This guy's speeding real fast. There's going to be a state trooper coming up real soon to get this guy. Oh, my God, they got a four-wheeler spot, baby. We got to go get a four-wheeler. Do you mean to turn around? We, don't, we got to get a trailer, too. Okay. <laughs> Screw the F-350 jacked up super duty that I want. I want a four-wheeler. I want a lot of things. I don't ever really get them though. I literally am about to punch you out of the car. How are you going to punch me out of the car? What? Say that again in my mouth. I don't ever get anything that I want. <laughs> I'm taking your Christmas gifts away. Can we live stream the Christmas morning? I mean, if you want to. I just want to see your reaction to some of the gifts I got you. I can't wait to see yours. I had to double buy your ass gift. You know, it's, I, I know what it is too. It was that damn vacuum. No, okay. Four wheeler, right there. That car. Yeah, that thing's been there forever since I was Can a kid. Can I tell you something? What? You're really offending me. I did not get you a vacuum cleaner. I'm telling you right now, do not be expecting a vacuum cleaner. This used to be a happening spot. A lot of drug activity used to take place here. Uh, this place got closed down because of the drug activity and also because they were serving underage people. I used to work at this moving company right here. Worst job, one of the worst jobs I ever had in my life. And man, this is a trip down memory lane right here. I'm gonna show you this other bar. Well, it's not there anymore, but in this shopping center right over here, there used to be a bar I used to go to all the time. My dad used to go there. So my dad used to live like right down this road right here. And the bar used to be at the end of the shopping center, right there, where whatever the hell that is there now. Looks like another kind of a restaurant, country something. But the bar used to be called Cruisers, and that place definitely got shut down because of drug activity. Really? And underage drinking. My brother used to work at this Goodfellas restaurant right here. I think that was like his first job. I grew up in this area. 
and it would be really cool to go back to the actual house that I grew up in when I moved to Virginia from California back in like 1991. Uh, this is a crazy place. This is where I first started going to school at. I was going to elementary school out here. I, I first started going to middle school. I think I went from like first grade to sixth grade while I was living out in this area. Got in so much trouble out here as well. Had a best friend that I grew up with who's now doing 30 years for just some horrible, horrible charges. But I haven't seen this house in forever. Rainy's never seen this house. And we're out this area, so I figured, why not? Let's go see where old Joe grew up at. Are you excited? I'm super excited. I love this. Prepare yourself for a history lesson and also some super country living. Now, when you go back down this road, this actually leads to right there on the water, but it's not like real water, it's like creek water. And there's a lot of fishing companies back here, like, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, like, like um, fish packing companies or something like that, crab companies. It's hard to explain it because these aren't like super country people, these are super country watermen. They got like their own way that they talk, it's almost like they got their own laws out here. It's almost like the police, they don't even mess with these people back here. And this is almost like a land of no law. That's been there since I was a kid. That's so cool. I bet you they have like the coolest stuff in there. Super interesting going back out here. Again, this kid that I grew up with, his name's Brian Gore. I did a video on this kid. But he ended up with 30 years because him and his girlfriend uh, kept their daughter in an upside down crib that they were using for a cage. What? Yeah, they weren't feeding the little girl. The little girl was actually eating her own skin. I mean, it was a very, very screwed up situation. Why? The police didn't even go there for that. They went there to serve a search warrant for some stolen property. And that's what they saw when they went in there. They also dug up another child's grave in the backyard. I mean, yeah, some really bad stuff. And again, it's just, you never know the people that you... What? Yeah, you never know. This is my old elementary school right here. This is Achilles Elementary. Look at that. That's where old Joe was a youngin' at. That's actually a nice looking little school. It looks like they've built a lot of new stuff on this. That gas station's been there since I was a kid. You can tell we're getting close to the water by all of these little cattail things. During storms, this place floods. Like, you can't get in or out of here. You can smell the fire burning. I love it. So this road's about to make a hard right, and that's what we're about to do. Now, if you were to go straight down that, you can see the water right back there. There's just creek water back there. But we're gonna follow this around to the right. And we're almost there. I how many cars end up in that ditch. I'm sure a lot. Oh wow. They had a pig. We're almost there. Right here on this corner, this used to be a post office. Really? Matter of fact, it used to be all right in here. See, this hasn't been here forever. And there used to be a post office right here. They've actually torn it down and built that damn house right there. It looks relatively old too. But we're back here in Waterman area. Stop right here. This is the road I used to live down. That's my house. That's my old house. I, I almost didn't even recognize it because look at this. This is crazy. That's where my neighbor's house used to be at and that's not even there anymore. This is so insane to me. I had a neighbor who used to live right here who had horses. Oh, wow. And all of that is gone now. Like, there was a freaking house here. And I'm gonna show you, the only thing that I'd seen is this right here. This fence that used to fence in where the horses were at. None of this was overgrown like this. Look, look at the fence. We gotta turn down here because I didn't even recognize this because I was looking for this opening right here that's not there anymore. But this right here is the house that I actually grew up in. My room used to be right there. Mm-hmm. That used to be where my room was. 
and we used to ride go-karts all up and down here because all of this property right here is that house's property. Oh, wow. Oh, look, there's the horses. The no, they got a donkey. This is crazy. I'm going to show you where the, the guy used to live at who ended up getting the 30 years. So there were a lot of apple trees that were in that yard. And me and my brother would just have like apple wars, throwing apples at each other. It was the craziest damn thing in the world. But down this road right here, it would go all the way back. And back down there, there was a trailer back there. And that's where the guy lived. Now let's go all the way down because I want to show you what's at the end of this. This is how country this area is because down here is nothing but marsh. There used to be like a boat that would be down here, like a, a fishing boat. I knew somebody who used to live right over there too. Oh look. I've never even seen one of those things fly. Yeah, you can see the water. Now they got a yacht down here. Somebody used to live down here. Yeah, you can go down here and turn around. It's gonna be a big turnaround. Look at the boat right there. That's where I used to live at. What you think? That's crazy. A lot of history. We kind of come from the same places, you know? Mm-hmm. Look at that bird right there on that tree. Oh, they're in the cool. There was a legitimately a deer leg sitting right there on the road. <laughs> That's pretty damn crazy. This used to be a big garden right here. They've only got like a little bit of the garden and they've got it in the front yard. That's kind of crazy. Oh, I got to show you this too. So right across the street from my house, there used to be this little small house where this old man, this old drunk man used to live at. His name was Gook. G-O-O-K, Gook. He used to get drunk. I mean, he was just always riding his bike around super drunk and his house ended up burning down and now there is absolutely nothing left of where old Gook used to live at. That's great. Has that always been there? Yep. This hasn't always been here though. Yeah, there's people out there. I don't know, Sam. And this right here, I mean, just look at, this is about what you think about when you think about where I used to live at. My upbringing right there, a little bit of a history lesson and definitely, definitely a crazy thing to go back and see just how much it's changed of this place that I actually grew up at. You know, I think back to when I was a kid living out here, I could have never imagined then that my life would turn out as crazy as it has. But to go from that to a life of complete trouble and prison and constantly going to jail, and then to be where I am now, it's just a hell of a thing to think about.